Hi everyone, welcome to my little how-to videos. As I've told you before, I do these in one shot, one take, no video editing, so you get the good with the bad. If I make a mistake, you get to come along for that ride. My name's Georgia, I'm with the bead shop in New Orleans, and I'm gonna show you today how to do a technique called a basic loop or a turned eye. The industry refers to it as different things, but both of them work for this project. For this project, you will need three tools, a flat nose or needle nose, that's called both, a cutter for wire and a round nose plier. Notice the ends are round. This technique can be used in a lot of different fun ways. Uh, one of them is an earring. You can turn this into an earring. And I've got three options here for the different types of earring um, hooks you might be using. This also can be a dangle. So it's a very universal technique. The same thing that you would do to create a dangle is the same thing you would use to create an earring. The first one I'm going to do is just a very basic loop. We're going to stack our design on our head pin. For this technique, you're going to need to use a head pin that is 20, 19, no, 20 gauges, 21 gauge or thicker, sorry, 21 gauge or thicker for this. And that's because you don't want to use a thin one for this because it will not hold the shape. All right, so I've stacked a design on to my 20 gauge head pin. And now I'm going to bend it at a 90 degree angle. We do this not only to lock in the beads here, but because we want to start with a 90 degree angle in order to get a nice full circle later. Now I'm going to cut and I'm leaving a quarter of an inch here, quarter of an inch. Now I take my round nose pliers, I grab the tip of the wire with my plier and I'm going to gently, very gently, and I'm holding this firm right here. If you don't hold this firmly, you won't have anything to push against. And I'm rolling this. Do you see what's happening? I'm just gently rolling this, using this plier the whole time and rolling it. Now my goal, see that? My goal is to really pretend that I'm sticking this tip here into the top of the bead. That's what will help me to make this nice and round. Now, if I was attaching this dangle to a bracelet and I wanted to hook this into um, a jump ring, right now is when I would do that because this is still a little bit open. So if I was adding this, let's say to a strand of beads, I would hook it into the beads. If I was adding this to a jump ring, I would hook it into the jump ring right now just like that, and then close it up. What I'm gonna keep do in this case though is keep going because I'm gonna attach this to an earring. So I keep rolling this around until I have a perfect loop. Now with this loop, you'll notice there's no space here. Now with this loop, I can choose which ear wire I wanna attach this to. Everyone has their own preference. Some people love the lever back, some love the simple, some love the ball with the coil. For this one, I'll choose this simple ear wire. You take your flat nose pliers and make sure that this is open enough to drop the earring in. And by the way we do that is by twisting it. We do not open it this way. We wanna open it this way, side to side. Do you see that? I opened it side to side. I drop the earring in, and now I close it the same way I opened it, applying a little pressure here, and then using my flat nose pliers to guide it back into place. And I always like to give it an extra squeeze here, and I come this way and do an extra squeeze here, because what we want is a fully closed circle on both ends, both by the bead and by the top. And there you have it. 
this is how to do a basic loop, which, which can be a dangle on a bracelet, a dangle on a necklace, or an earring. Thanks for watching.